Hi everyone, welcome! In this video, I will show you how to design packaging for coffee beans. I will guide you through the full step-by-step -step process of packaging design, from brainstorming and sketching design ideas to designing the packaging in Adobe Illustrator. And finally, I will show you how I present packaging design to a client. For this packaging design, I'm going to use this logo, Coffee Cup Cafe. If you're curious to see how I designed this logo, then make sure to check out one of my other videos where I show a full process of me designing this logo in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to leave the link to this video in the description below. Make sure to check it out. Before you start designing, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for similar videos. The first step I take in each design project is brainstorming design ideas. I'm gonna go on Pinterest or Google Images and I'm gonna try to find some inspirational ideas of coffee packaging design. Once I come up with a design idea, I always try to visualize the design idea in my head before I sketch it in my notebook. And now I'm going to sketch the package design variations. There are a few reasons why sketching is so important. Before you start any project, you need a plan. In this case, before you start designing anything in Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, you need to have a solid plan or an idea of the design. For example, where content or visual elements are going to be placed in the design. The text hierarchy, visual flow, and also functionality. And now let's start designing the package in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to create an artboard with the measurements of the coffee package. To the artboard, I'm going to add all the text that I'm going to use on the package, then the logos, and the color palette. I start design by changing the font type and organizing the text. I'm going to add the design element, the waves that represent the coffee. I'm going to make this shape in brown gradient colors. As we are going to have brown paper packaging for the coffee beans, I'm going to add brown paper background. So I know how the design would look like on the actual packaging. Then I'm going to add different layers to the shape. I'm going to use different shades of brown and beige colors. This will add depth to the design. Then I'm going to take the icon from the logo and add it as a design element. I'm going to make the icon bigger in size and then decrease the transparency. To finalize the package, I'm just going to change the positioning of the text to make sure everything is aligned with each other. I'm going to create a second package variation, so we have a choice between two packages and we can pick which one we like at the end. I'm going to duplicate the content from the first package, such as the logo, the text, and the background image. I'm going to add the main design element in the middle of the packaging. It's going to be waves that represent coffee. I'm going to add the same brown gradient to the shape. Then I'm going to duplicate the shape that I have created. And I'm just going to duplicate the transparent wave. Then decrease the opacity and add the multiply mode, which will add the depth to the design. Then I'm just going to duplicate the transparent wave and place it behind the object, which will create a cool design. When the main graphic is done, I'm just going to reposition and align the text in the artboard. Mm -hmm. 
When the two package designs are complete, I'm going to move on to creating mock-ups for the packages. So we can see visually how the design would look like on the coffee bean packaging. I opened Photoshop with the mock-up files of the packaging and I'm going to place two package designs on here to see how it would look like on the real coffee packaging. And then I'm going to create a second mock-up example. On here I have a coffee cup. So I'm going to create a quick design for this coffee cup. You can see here, it's just simple. I created the coffee waves with a logo on the middle. And then I'm going to place the graphics in the mock-up. Here is the final result. I really like the way the coffee packaging turned out. The design is simplistic, but also has an elegant touch. Let me know in the comments below which design you prefer the most. The first or the second design concept. I really appreciate you guys watching this video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching and you learned something new. I'm releasing new videos all the time, so if you don't want to miss out, make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn the notification bell on. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. Comment below if you'd like to see similar videos. Or you can leave a video request in the comment area and I will be make sure to consider it in my future videos.